Mendeley Desktop is software that helps researchers to organize their research, collaborate with one another, and discover new research. We've just built an experimental version of Mendeley Desktop that contains some exciting new tools. They were built as part of the Code Project. For more information about the Code Project, please visit www.code-research.eu. To download a copy of this bespoke version of Mendeley Desktop, navigate to the results page in the Code website and search for Mendeley Desktop. We've already installed a version of it on this laptop. I'm going to run it now and demonstrate some of the code features. Because it's an experimental development build, it'll warn you that you might not want to use your normal Mendeley account to log in, in case it gets messed up. Clicking No will let you change the account that you use. In this case, I'll click Yes and log in with my normal live Mendeley account. The new tools that we've added help you to visualize information in research papers and explore the meanings of terms that are in them. Let's start by looking at some visualizations. I'll open a paper with which the new tools work pretty well. For those of you who are familiar with Mendeley Desktop, you may notice in the right panel there's now a new tab named Summary. Clicking on this tab will result in the outline of the paper being extracted plus any tables or figures that appear in the paper. Clicking on any of these headings will skip directly to that point in the paper. Similarly, clicking on any of the tables will take you directly to that table in the paper. So now that Mendeley Desktop knows where the tables are and what's in them, it can help you visualize their contents better. Table 2 presents results on how well a number of algorithms, or methods as they're described here, perform on a dataset in terms of accuracy, precision, recall, and F measure. It's difficult to look at these numbers and to quickly see which algorithm is most accurate, most precise, has highest recall and the highest F measure. It would be much more useful to see a graphical visualization of these results. Let's generate one by clicking on the top right arrow of table 2 and selecting to create a chart. In order to generate a chart, you need to select two columns. One column should be the dimensions and the other column the observations. By default, the first column is selected as dimension and second as observation. For our case, let's say we'd like to know which of the methods is most accurate. We make sure that the methods are the dimension column, as is selected by default, but instead of having the features as the observations, let's left click on the features column and request that it be removed and let's left click on the accuracy column and request that that becomes the observations. This will allow us to see which method performs with what level of accuracy. By clicking on the create chart button, the visualization wizard is started up. The visualization wizard allows us to visualize the tabular data that was sent to it using different graphs. The most appropriate graph for this data would be a bar chart. Very quickly, I can now look at this chart and see that this method, init plus wn plus dep, is the one with the highest accuracy.
Similarly, I can see the other extreme, that the best method was the lowest accuracy. The same data can be visualised in different charts, such as a pie chart, series graph, or a gutter plot. The original tabular version is also available to confirm that the same numbers are being produced. Let's return to Mendeley Desktop. Another form of visualization is mind mapping software. We've been collaborating in the code project with a company named Mindmeister who produce mind mapping software. Mind maps can be used to explore, generate ideas and visualize them on a mind map landscape. Let's, suggest, let's request that the paper's structure be exported to a mind map. We click on the mind map button which takes us to our browser which contains a mind map. The mind map has the outline of the paper that we were reading including the main headings and the subheadings. We can then utilize the mind map functionality in order to add new ideas or to add our notes. If any figures were also extracted out from the paper, then they will automatically be included in the mind map. Returning to Mendeley Desktop, we've also integrated some tools that help you to explore the meanings of terms in your research paper. Let's go back to the start of the paper. Assume this is the first time that you're reading it and you come across a word or term that you don't understand. Let's say you're reading the abstract and the first term you're unsure of is WordNet. Typically, you would go to your favourite search engine, type in the word WordNet and look at what it means. With this version of Mendeley Desktop, when you select a term, you can choose to either copy it, add it to your notes, or get the definition of the term. Let's select the definition of the term. Using various open linked data sources, Mendeley Desktop gets some possible meanings for the selected term. It tells us that WordNet is a lexical database for the English language. That's useful. All from inside Mendeley Desktop, without having to switch to a browser or use any search engine, we've now got the meaning of the term. If it wasn't quite the correct meaning, then you can also scroll through various alternative meanings using the top right arrow buttons. In this case, the alternative meanings, although similar and sometimes relevant, are not as appropriate as the first meaning that was presented. Mendeley Desktop is also smart enough to know if this term has appeared in any other papers in Mendeley's research catalogue. Underneath the term in bold, we see that Mendeley Desktop says found five papers referencing this entity. If you'd like to see other papers in which WordNet has been referenced, click on Search Mendeley. A literature search begins and the five other papers that mention WordNet are presented to you. This is a useful way of finding out more information about a particular term and how it's used in different contexts or different research settings. And that's it. 
I hope that you enjoyed this ex this demonstration and that you'll download this new version of Mendeley Desktop and play around with the new tools. Visualize data from research papers quickly and easily and find out the meanings of new terms that you read as you come across them.